everybody and welcome to another workbench and um, today we're going to be uh, continuing with the Heath kit the um, V7AU and on the bench um, you can see that I've, I've got the back panel off and I've already got a handful of components which I think I will be changing anyway I've also got the circuit diagram and the building part of the, the kit manual. Now, the only reason I've got the, the building part is because I obviously want to make sure I take it apart the same way as it went together. Um, what I do want to take off, um, the first thing is going to be the rectifier. Um, so that's the one thing. I also want to take out this capacitor um, simply because old electrolytics are, are notorious. Um, and also down at the bottom in here between the two range switches, uh, I want to take out that wax capacitor. So that's what I've got there. So I'm going to start taking it apart. And it looks like we're going to start with the... Uh, dial knobs which um, are actually in fairly good condition I just hope they are not ruined um, internally now I'm just trying to make sure I've got the screwdriver dead in the slot there we go and off it comes um, that one's got its screw on the back now I will clean these up before they go back on the meter um, I think just a, a quick scrub in uh, detergent so we've loosened those off um, let's just uh, get the adjustable onto the nuts and pull them off don't want to get too close with the spanner to the paint surface because I don't want to scratch up the, the front panel any more than uh, it is. It's lasted this long, um, you know, 1962, if the components are anything to go by. Um, why should I ruin it now? Let's turn that around so that uh, I can see what I'm doing and just lift that wire. So we've now got to remove the meter screws. And again, we'll just go in there gently with the uh, adjustable. Take off that screw there, which goes to that bracket. Or let's... Yeah, let's take off the screw that goes to the bracket, even though I'm going to undo the meter screw itself. Well, that's slight like, no, OK, so that's the board loose, which means, in fact, that's everything loose, isn't it? Which means I can take all of the internals out in one go, pass them through, like that and there we have the washers on the potentiometers and the meter assembly still in the case but uh, completely separate so that's the easy way to take that part of it to pieces so let's put that somewhere down there where it's not going to get knocked well for now anyway it'll move before uh, I clear up and there's that big waxy capacitor now what I'm trying to do is not disturb these switches you know I see no point in taking all of this to bits at this point um, not for the sake of one disgusting waxy capacitor um, 
what I can do is I can just snip that out for now because I will put in the replacement. So let's get that out and let's have a look. It's a hunt, what a surprise. Um, possibly the most unreliable rotten pieces of paper and wax crap that England's ever made. Um, probably at the time they worked quite well, but unfortunately hunts are notorious for not ageing too well. So let's get rid of that. That's going in the, in the dustbin. Um, sorry, it's going in the safe recycling area. Let's do the easy bits, shall we, first. Um, let's start by desoldering the other capacitor. There we go, 150 volt DC working, June 1962, Plessy Electrolytic. It doesn't look in bad condition, I'll say that. It doesn't look bad for a 1962 capacitor. Um, doesn't appear to be bulging or leaking. But... Uh, why take the chance when you're testing something uh, and relying on a you know, 60 year old, 50 year old capacitor? Yeah. Might as well put in the new one. Um, and while I'm here, let's put in the Now that is the weirdest lump of soldering I've seen there, making such a huge, ah, look, it's just taking the track off. Let's take that out like that. And what I'm going to do with that is I will, when I've soldered that down, is I'm going to cure that with a bit of nail lacquer, just to... Uh, seal that down. As I say, the, these boards are, they're not the latest technology of PCBs. That's there. Now to just go through these resistors and actually check um, the values on them. And uh, right, let's get the meter and uh, start checking. Right, let's start well, I start at the top. Um, so this one is meant to be 33. Let's have a look what these actually read. Hundred and eighty one. Hundred eighty four. It's thirty K higher. Mm, ha, thirty K. Ten percent of one hundred and fifty is only fifteen, so they're very high. So I will be changing those anyway. So um, there's my thing. So I need two times one fifty K. Two meg, two point two meg, twenty two meg. That's within spec. That's within spec. Let's go for this one and this one. 
241k um, 22 no that should be 220 it's 240 again because that's on the same pad let's just lift it up it's not it is still held down you think you get all the solder off and you haven't See, this is what I was talking about. You know, do you change every resistor just because? Um, you know, these these carbon comps have aged. You know, there's no two ways about it. They've aged, and they're getting old. They're they're just like everything else, like like me. Um, uh, this is this is the dilemma. Do I just change them and be done with it? Um, Possibly. Could just do it. Let's measure the rest of them and see how many I'm going to change. If I'm only changing three resistors, then I'm not going to bother. If I've got to change more, then I might as well. Right, so this one is 1010K, so this is a 10K, and this is quite a big resistor. See, that's 10K spot on. 10 ohm, 10 oh no it's 101 one. so it's 100 ohm that one, there we go, 100 ohm, that one's out of spec, so let's put down a 100 ohm, uh, what we got there, 22 meg, Twenty two meg, ten percent is two meg, two point two meg, twenty two. So, you really should change that one as well. Twenty two M. Um, if I'm changing two, I'm changing one, two, three, four, five. There's five. The other thing I've got to think about is how many of these have I actually got in stock and will I have to order some in? Let me see what I've got in stock and we'll uh, come back to you. Right, okay, here we are, um, back again. Just had a quick um, mosey around the workshop and I couldn't find any 22 meg resistors. But I have found um, most of the others we need. Well, in fact, I found all the others that we need. So I've got those to change over. I've ordered the 22 meg ohm resistors and they should be here on what's today today is friday they should be here monday or tuesday so i'll be able to get on with that while i was off camera i thought i'd uh, take the cover off the meter and um, see what was actually damaged now you can see where it was actually glued um, because the glue just peeled right off so whatever glue was used it's uh, not a particularly good one um, although it looks like it's been glued several times 
what I have done um, is I've just straightened the needle. All I've got to do is, as you see, this is the the plastic, and um, this is the. It's it's like a rubber cement that's been put on here, um, and it just, as you see, it's just peeling off. Should I just put it back together as it was? No, I've got this far. Um, I'm not going to do that. Also off camera, what I did do, I checked the pots. The resistance on them is fine. I also checked the welling wire wound resistors and they're all absolutely fine as well. There's absolutely nothing wrong with those. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave it at that. And um, when I come back with the next part, you should actually see it pretty much ready to go back in the case and ready for an alignment. Um, I might even just put it back in the case and, and then we'll just go through the, the alignment as it says once I've got everything. You know, Again, I could sit here and you could watch me solder some resistors in, but would that be much fun? Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you like what I do, don't forget to click the like and the subscribe button and the little bell icon. Um, that way you'll get notifications of every new video that I do. There will always be a release on Friday and the occasional one through the week at the moment, depending on what happens and what's going on in life and uh, you know whether anything new comes up. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.